Hi, in this quick video, I'm going to show you how to diagnose the BMW multimedia bus network failure. Basically, if you don't have a sound, if you don't have your multimedia network devices working, so most likely you have a break in the ring. So what, what does it mean? It means that one of the unit failed or disconnected or there's a problem, so there's no connection. Um, in BMW, they introduced the multimedia bus network system, which what it is. It is a network <clears throat> where all devices connected in a loop through fiber optic um, connection. And um, whenever one unit goes bad, the network is broken. And when it's broken, nothing's going to talk to each other. Even though you have, let's say, seven modules in the network, one goes bad, no one's going to work. So when you do have a sound, it's not necessarily that the amplifier is bad. Um, so in this example, I'm going to we're going to find out why it's not working. Right now, uh, we don't have any sound. There is no FM station. There's standard symptoms in these cars, especially E65. E60, E90, they're similar, exact same thing, but they're a little bit easier because the head unit incorporates like three, four units together. So they have less units, so it's easier to find a problem. Okay. Um, so in order, to, in order to have the unit working in this car, you need only two things. Uh, you need a, for each unit you need just the power and the optic connection. So when the signal gets into the unit, um, the unit is supposed to decode the signal, uh, process it, and send it back to another unit. The next unit is going to do the same thing, and um, unless it, get, uh, <coughs> it, it does the same thing, and then it goes back to the head unit. And uh, basically, it starts from a head unit and goes back through. It goes back to head unit through each u through each uh, device. So basically, um, it starts from head unit and it ends a head unit. There are only two um, connections, input and output. And this is what it makes the loop. So anyway, um, right now we have a problem in the corner that one of the unit failed. And um, we need to find out what it is. And um, for example, this is the amplifier. Everybody thinks it's problem over the amplifier because there is no sound. That's completely wrong. It could be, but it's not necessarily. So, um, what are we going to start with? You just remove the amplifier. You can remove any unit. And let's see, there are two connections. One is a fiber optic connection. Right now we don't see any light getting into the amplifier. Um, which means which means there's a failure in the network. That's why amplifier is not working. But not necessarily. It indicates that the problem is before the amplifier, not the after. So most likely, the amplifier isn't working. I mean, it's working to the point it could have different problems, but the optical, um, the optical uh, <coughs> word is working most likely. Okay, we need to find out what it is. Um, and let me show you, it's not that simple. When you go to the dealer, sometimes they make tons of mistakes too, because when people don't understand how things work, and it's so complicated. But in reality, it's so easy. If you don't have the light and the amplifier, you start looking into other modules and find out where you have the light. Because the light starts from the head unit, and then it goes to the chunk. So let's see. For example, this, is, this one is accessible, easily accessible. But if I don't find the signal here, I'm going to have to remove all other modules to find out. So we remove the, the telephone. And you can see there is signal getting into the telephone module, <coughs> Bluetooth module, whatever. And it's important part that make sure that the signal is steady blinking, which means it's normal condition. When it's like steady, steady red, it means one unit is not sending the right signal. But it's kind of rare, but it does happen. Okay, so we have a signal here. That's good. So the signal um, first <coughs> in the trunk goes to, in this car, in this, in this car, it goes to Bluetooth module, then goes to, I believe, to satellite receiver, and then goes to the amplifier. Okay, but even if <clears throat> the order is different, all you need to do is to find where you have the light. Once you have the light, you can find out where the next module is. Um, okay, we put it back in, and let's see what's happening to the next module, which is um, the satellite receiver. Okay, I just connect satellite receiver and I have the light here.
which means that the phone module, Bluetooth module, is alive, is good. Um, like I said, you need to make sure that every module is getting 12 volts. So there are only two wires, uh, brown and red. Most of the time, the, the power is there, but the fuses control it, just in case. Just make sure the fuses in the trunk control they have power. You simply check the power. It's simple. Use any voltmeter, whatever. Anyway, <clears throat> the silent receiver is getting the signal, but the amplifier is not getting the signal. We connect the back, and there is no signal, which tells us what? It tells us that most likely the satellite receiver is not sending the green signal back. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the fiber optic loop. You can buy it from the dealer, it's pretty cheap, like 25 to 80 bucks. And let me tell you this, once you diagnose this problem, you save 300 bucks, because this is what BMW charge you to diagnose the problem. So, this video is quite helpful and uh, it uh, can save you some, some money. <clears throat> okay, we're going to loop it. What it is, a loop is basically it's a fiber optic um, kind of wire which is in a loop. So basically it loops both outputs and input, input and output in the connector. So, so there is no breakage. Okay, we, we bypassed it. Let's see what's going to happen right now to the amplifier. As you can see, we got the light at the amplifier, which means, 100%, it means that the solid receiver is bad. Now we're going to connect our amplifier back in and see if we got our network working. <clears throat> Let me try to turn on the radio. Okay, you can hear the music playing that it means that we found a problem and there is no other problem exist in this car. Uh, so the problem was the satellite receiver module. Those ones go bad very often. Then the navigation can go bad to it goes bad because for example this um, um, hydraulic lift, if the car is equipped with that, it starts leaking. Let me turn on the radio because it's And yes, we will get the door chimes and everything, which will indicate that the system is working. So, um, so basically, it can happen to any unit in this car. And uh, this exact same technique on any BMW. The, the beauty of the next cars, after E65, E60, E90, that they have less modules. So it's easier to diagnose. So the head unit has like five modules combined. It has navigation, it has tuner, and uh, <clears throat> CD player, like lots of things in one, voice control module, everything is in one module. So you have only three modules in your trunk, it's so easy to diagnose it. And for E60 you have this kind of type of amplifier, it's a little bit different, but it's the same thing. The only thing is it, it has a diagnostic LED, I'll show you what it is. So I'm going to try to connect it to E65. It's not going to work with the sound and everything, but the fiber optic signal is pretty much the same. And it's gonna show us. I'm gonna show you what, what LED I meant, what it is. So let me connect it. By the way, in this connector, the thick brown wire and red wire is the power, so where you can check the power spread. And you can see there's a yellow LED zone, which means what? Which means that it's getting the signal and there's no breakage in the network, which is good condition. This means that the amplifier is working. Whenever you don't see the yellow LED at all, and there's no breakage. So basically when it, when it gets the signal in, in the connector, but you don't see any light, it means the amplifier is not good. When you see this LED blinking, it means that the next module after the amplifier is not good, and most likely the amplifier is good. So this is like very handy, very nice that you can diagnose it. They don't have it on E65. So this, this LED light tells you a lot, pretty much. And that's it. It's pretty simple. And uh, you can leave the comment below, but i explain you everything in details. Another thing is there's in the glove box, there's a end point where you can see if you get in the light in there. So it means that's the last end point before the head unit. So, for example, in E65, uh, the ASK unit is the last unit, and uh, if unit is getting red light, but in the end point you don't have any red light, it means what? It means that the ASK unit is no good. Another easiest way to check 
uh, ASK unit. If it's good or not, if you can insert or reject CD, it means at least that the process is working. If you cannot insert or reject CD when power is present, it means that the ASK unit is no good most of the times. Of course, it could be exceptions, but I'm still talking about the most common scenario. And, uh, and that's it.